ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಜ್ಞಾನ ತರಂಗ ಸಿ ಇ ಟಿ ನೀಟ್ ಕೋಚಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ಗೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ಪದವಿ ಪೂರ್ವ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಇಲಾಖೆ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸರ್ಕಾರದವರು ಆಯೋಜಿಸುತ್ತಾರೆ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ರಾಘವೇಂದ್ರಾಚಾರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇವತ್ತು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿಯ ಆಸಿಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೇವ್ಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ನ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸಿನಾಪ್ಸಿಸ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಮೂವ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಈ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಾನಿಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಕಾರಣ ಕಾಲಾವಕಾಶ ನಮಗೆ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಡೀಲ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಮೇಜರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೇಜರ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನಿಕ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ವಿ ನೋ ದಟ್ ದ ಮೇಜರ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನಿಕ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಪೀರಿಯಾಡಿಕ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ದಟ್ ರಿಪೀಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಪಾತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ಅಟ್ ಎ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎನ್ ಆಸಿಲೇಟ್ರಿ ಮೋಷನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಟು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ರೋ ಮೋಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಮೇಜರ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಮ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಸಲರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನಲ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸಲರೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಮೀನ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಆಕ್ಸಲರೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಮೀನ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ರಿಸ್ಟೋರಿಂಗ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನಲ್ ಟು ದ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಮೀನ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಸೊ ಎಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಕೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೇವೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಂಗ್ಯುಲಾರ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಮ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಂಗ್ಯುಲಾರ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಮ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ಟೋ ರಿಸ್ಟೋರಿಂಗ್ ಟಾರ್ಕ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನಲ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಂಗ್ಯುಲಾರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ದೆನ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇಯರ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಡೆರಿವೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತೇವೆ ಬೈ ಕಂಪೇರಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಯೂನಿಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲಾರ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೈ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಪ್ರೂವ್ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೈ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟಿಂಗ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಮ್ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಡಿರೈವ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಅದನ್ನು ಈಸಿ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳುವಂಥ ಒಂದು ಜಿ ಐ ಎಫ್ ಇದು ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಈ ಇಮೇಜ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಹಾರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ಲೈನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಈ ಬ್ಲೂ ಕಲರ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಸ್ಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟಿಂಗ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಮ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ವೆರ್ ಆಸ್ ರೆಡ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟಿಂಗ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಮ್ ಆನ್ ವೈ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಬ್ಲೂ ಕಲರ್ ಆ ಪ್ರೊಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ನಾವು ವೈ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎ ಸೈನ್ ಒಮೇಗಾ ಟಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೇವೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೆಡ್ ಡಾಟ್ಗೆ ಸಾರಿ ಬ್ಲೂ ಕಲರ್ಗೆ ಎ ಕಾಸ್ ಒಮೇಗಾ ಟಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೆಡ್ ಡಾಟ್ಗೆ ಎ ಸೈನ್ ಒಮೇಗಾ ಟಿ ಅಂತ ಪ್ರೂವ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ರೆಡ್ಗೆ ಸೈನಸಾಡಲ್ ವೇವ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಬ್ಲೂ ಕಲರ್ದು ಕೊಸೈನ್ ವೇವ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಈ ಈ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಕಲರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಆ್ಯಂಟಿ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ವೈಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗ್ಯುಲಾರ್ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಒಮೇಗಾ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡುವಂಥ ಈ ಈಕ್ವೇಷನ್ಸ್ ನಮಗಿಲ್ಲಿ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಪ್ರೂವ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತೇವೆ ಸೊ ವೈ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎ ಸೈನ್ ಒಮೇಗಾ ಟಿ ವೇರ್ ಒಮೇಗಾ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಆಸ್ ಟು ಪೈ ಬೈ ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಟು ಪೈ ಎಫ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಪೈ ಎನ್ ಅಂತ ಕೂಡ ನಾವು ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ 
acceleration is maximum at extreme position. If you put y is equal to, if you put y is equal to a, then you get a max is equal to omega square a in magnitude. So, when y is equal to a. And in SHM, acceleration is minimum at mean position. At mean position, y is 0. So, y 0, adaga, a minimum will be 0. Okay. So, this is the minimum acceleration. Then, next, if you plot a graph by taking acceleration along y axis and displacement along x axis, you will get a curve like this. It is a straight line with a slope minus omega square. So, slope of this line will be minus omega square. Energy in SHM. So, potential energy can be shown that u is equal to half m omega square y square, where m is mass of the particle executing SHM, omega is the angular frequency of the SHM and y is the displacement of the particle at a given instant. And uh, kinetic energy is given by half m omega square into a square minus y square. So, this is the expression for kinetic energy. And total energy of the particle executing SHM. So, total energy and it is the sum of E is equal to uh, I can say k plus u where k is kinetic energy and u is potential energy. So, kinetic energy is half m omega square into a square minus y square and uh, potential energy half m omega square into y square. So, if you add these two, you will get this expression. This is the expression for total energy of the particle executing simple harmonic motion. So, that is given by half m omega square a square. Here, you observe for a given SHM, here, variable quantity of the fixed quantity is mass of the particle is fixed, angular frequency will be fixed and a is also fixed like that. So, that is why it is always a constant. So, either a conclusion in Kodbodhundra significance in re, total energy of the particle executing SHM is always conserved on the health. In the graph observed total energy as well as kinetic energy and potential energy is taken along y axis and displacement is taken along x axis here. In the blue line in blue curve in Kansai, this is representing the kinetic energy and uh, red curve is representing the variation of potential energy here. So, you will observe more about the kinetic energy is maximum at mean position. I will already call it now. V is maximum at that position. That is kinetic energy maximum. In a, at extreme position only, at extreme position. So, at extreme position, we can say V is minimum. Therefore, kinetic energy is minimum here. So, K is minimum at this point at these two points. Then come to potential energy. So, potential energy is maximum at the extreme position whereas, minimum at the mean position. And you can observe at this position, we can observe these two from the mean position. If this is the mean position, at the end, plus a and the health, e minus a and the health, amplitudes. So, this position when displacement becomes equal to a by root 2, a by root 2 agarate. So, a by root 2 adaga potential energy becomes equal to kinetic energy. Okay. So, it is the important result then pit control back nivu. and it will observe more the black color on the straight line ide, which is parallel to x axis that is representing the variation of total energy of the particle executing SHM with the displacement. Not the mean position only, at the extreme position only. So, total energy is always constant. Okay. So, this is how the variation of energy take place in SHM and hence these are the expressions. You must remember these equations. The next, we will see about uh, linear simple harmonic motion and angular simple harmonic motion. Linear simple harmonic motion again, not only loaded spring and other one helical spring on the load of mass m and slightly displacement kotaga it will execute simple harmonic motion linear simple harmonic motion and uh, in this diagram in angular simple harmonic motion so it's an ideal simple pendulum model 
ideal simple pendulum model really and there one do string an inextensible string to one do the bob of mass m anna attach modi and that is made to execute simple harmonic motion that is angular illi displacement in the angle in the denote mod tv illi displacement in the x in the denote mod tv any kind of angular it is linear other in there and time period so time period and right is the time taken to complete one oscillation so time taken to complete one oscillation and right is a mean position in the start mod the right oscillation no ill in the one the extreme position gogi matta linda matta on the extreme position in bandhu matta mean position in barbeku aga one the oscillation agat the ashtik ke yes to time thrown rathe adhan now time period at the health care so that time period in shm is generally given by t is equal to 2 pi into square root of inertia factor by spring factor in case of a loaded spring the time period of oscillation is given by t is equal to 2 pi into square root of m by k where m is mass of the load attached to the spring and k is the spring constant so spring constant illi spring force or restoring force is given by minus k x here k represents the spring constant or force constant of the given spring and x is the displacement of the spring and the health of it is not already first year bear on the topical water theory so are on the k value now illi use more quality now and in angular shm mic bandh rai it will be inertia factor and mass of the bob agat the and spring factor will be given by mg by l agat the where l is length of the pendulum illi not both new it is length of the pendulum at the to one did then so illi m m cancel out rai so we will come out with this expression the most important expression time period of a simple pendulum is given by 2 pi into square root of l by g where l is length of the pendulum and g is acceleration due to gravity at that place the next oscillation under the influence of electric field so we go on the bob the whole thing of mass m which carries a positive charge this is most important other positively charge agar at the a positive charge agar of babu oscillate agbe kare along the vertical electric field and apply mati we you go error case birthday yaw direction apply mati electric field and upward or downward early error case and discuss martha in the early so when the electric field is vertically upwards in the e diagram with so in the electric field vertically upward is early so either it daga acceleration due to gravity card maggot any key and ray e electric field in the e charged bob it experiences a force in upward direction since it is positively charged that's why it experiences a force along the direction of electric field and that acceleration acting on it will be q e by m that's the acceleration acting on this bob and acceleration due to gravity is acting vertically downward so that's why effective acceleration will be g minus q e by m agate so therefore we had this relation t is equal to 2 pi into square root of l by g is an already la previous slide ali kalt kondi dewe so ali g jag dali g effective na kondre g minus q e by m is an a straight away new use mark or both expression are they down what is there ali acceleration due to gravity effective acceleration due to gravity becomes g plus q e by m agate any carry the positive charge agir as in the it experiences a force along the direction of electric field so all again g plus q e m g plus q e error to kuda one day direction agar in the g effective will becomes g plus q e agate so either do most important result in pit control back up under the influence of electric field only then we will see a pendulum in a lift you go on the pendulum anna ceiling of the lift only fix mauna okay so if a pendulum is suspended from ceiling of the lift if the lift is at rest by chance lift to rest tell it right that were moving downward or upward with the constant velocity this is most important constant velocity in the acceleration is zero so acceleration zero with the guy in acceleration due to gravity in here today as to mother of the lead there is no additional acceleration that's why other time period you have the current could change ago the law if the lift is moving downward or upward with the constant velocity most important are they by chance if the lift is moving upward with constant acceleration a by chance a lift accelerate other guy upward nalayana gathe we experiences a pseudo force on the health is not only under a 
ನಮಗೆ ಬೇರೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ವೈಟ್ ಗೈನ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ವೈಟ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಗೈನ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಪರೆಂಟ್ ವೈಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಓದಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಲಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಕ್ಸಲರೇಷನ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಗ್ರಾವಿಟಿ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಜಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಎಫ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಎಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಟಿ ಆದ್ದರಿಂದ ಸೊ ರೆಸಿಪ್ರೋಕಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಟಿ ತಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಅ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಆಸಿಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಪೆಂಡಿಲಮ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಪೆಂಡಿಲಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಪೆಂಡಿಲಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ವರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಲರೇಷನ್ ಎ ಇಫ್ ದ ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಡೌನ್ವರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಲರೇಷನ್ ಎ ಇಫ್ ದ ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಡೌನ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಆದರೆ ಆಗೇನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಲೂಸ್ ಎ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ವೈಟ್ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಫೀಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅಪ್ಪರೆಂಟ್ ವೈಟ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಏನಕ್ಕೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಆಕ್ಸಿಲರೇಷನ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಗ್ರಾವಿಟಿ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಜಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಲರೇಷನ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಗ್ರಾವಿಟಿ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಜಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಸೊ ಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಪೈ ಇಂಟು ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲ್ ಬೈ ಜಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಅಥವಾ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿಗೆ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಟೂ ಪೈ ಇಂಟು ರೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಜಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಬೈ ಎಲ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಡೌನ್ವರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಲರೇಷನ್ ಎ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಜಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಬೈ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ರೋಪ್ ರೋಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ ಕಟ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಫಾಲ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ರಾವಿಟಿ ಆಗ ಆಕ್ಸಿಲರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಜಿ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಜಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಅಂತ ಬರೆದ್ವಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಜಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಜಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಆಗ ಎಲ್ ಬೈ ಜಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಜಿ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಇನ್ಫಿನಿಟಿ ಆಗೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಇನ್ಫಿನಿಟಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಸೊ ದೆರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ನೋ ಆಸಿಲೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಪೆಂಡುಲಮ್ ಅದು ಯಾವ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೋ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಅದೇ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಕ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಲರೇಷನ್ ಟು ಗ್ರಾವಿಟಿ ಆರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ರಾವಿಟಿ ದೆನ್ ಪೆಂಡುಲಮ್ ಇನ್ ಅನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಲರೇಟೆಡ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ ಸೊ ಆಕ್ಸಲರೇಟೆಡ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ ಅಂತ ತೊಗೊಳ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಇಫ್ ದಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಹಾರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಈ ಕೇಸನ್ನು ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೋದು ನೀವು ಸೊ ಹೀಗೆ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ಇಲ್ಲೊಂದು ಟ್ರಕ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಪೆಂಡುಲಮ್ ಅರೇಂಜ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆರಿಮೆಂಟನ್ನು ಇದು ಬಾಬ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಪೆಂಡುಲಮ್ ಹೇಗಿದ್ದರೆ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಕ್ಸಲರೇಷನ್ ಜಿ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಅಂತ ತೊಗೊಂಡಾಗ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಜಿಯನ್ನು ನಾವು ಕಾಂಪೊನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ವರ್ಕೌಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಪ್ರೂವ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಬೈ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯು ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಪಿ ಕ್ಯು ಕಾಸ್ ತೀಟಾ ಈ ರಿಸಲ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕಾನ್ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಕೋಪ್ಲಾನರ್ ಫೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಆ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾನ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವರ್ಕೌಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಹೀಗೆ ತೊಗೊಂಡಾಗ ಆಕ್ಸಲರೇಷನ್ ಹಾರಿಸೆಂಟಲ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಆಕ್ಸಲರೇಷನ್ ಟು ಟು ಗ್ರಾವಿಟಿ ಆಕ್ಸಲರೇಷನ್ ಟು ಟು ಗ್ರಾವಿಟಿ ನಮಗೆ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲಿ ಡೌನ್ ಮಾಡಿರುತ್ತೆ ಆದ್ದರಿಂದ ಅದೆರಡರ ಮಧ್ಯ ನೈಂಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಈ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಪಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಪಿ ಜಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಜಿ ಹಾಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಕ್ಯೂ ಜಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಎ ಅಂತ ಹಾ
and delta theta is the change in temperature. The next oscillation of spring combination. So, oscillation of spring combination. So, we have uh, two types of combinations here. One is uh, in series and in parallel. Illi series combination na observe martha dene. So, series combination if two springs of spring constant k1 and k2 are joined in series as shown in figure. Ita ra iddaga avogala spring constant effective spring constant e na agathe it is similar to your uh, combination of capacitors. Antha nivu artha maru kondre easy avadhi nene pit koladu. So, combination of capacitors ik bandhre alli series nalli hitara varthe 1 by cs is equal to 1 by c1 plus c2 antha. Adhe riti illi eradu spring so series alli dhaga nivu 1 by ks that is effective spring constant is given by 1 by k1 plus 1 by k2 or ks is equal to k1 k2 by k1 plus k2. So, idu effective combination athwa effective spring constant agathe. So, adhana ithara eradu riti nimige thorsatha diagram nalli and hence the time period of oscillation of this combination of uh, spring is given by t is equal to 2 pi into square root of m by k s. So, where k s is effective spring constant. Okay. So, illi k s na illi idhana substitute maadudar e expression nalli you will get 2 pi into square root of m into k 1 plus k 2 by k 1 k 2. So, this is the expression for time period of combination of springs in series. Then let us move to the parallel combination. So, parallel combination if the springs are connected in parallel. So, parallel andre nodi ethera vekar oru nimike kottru bodu diagram nalli athwa ethera kottru koda adu parallel agirutte anthe helthivi. Ekkandre illi eradu rigid support illa navu one end of the helical spring na uh, rigid support kottu matte other free ends are connected to a single mass ethera kottagal koda these two are in parallel actually. They appear to be like a series, but actually they are in parallel. So, this is a parallel. Then you consider more called a parallel. Agit da ya. effective spring constant increases. So, Kp is equal to K1 plus K2. Agit da Okay. So, if they are identical springs, agit da ya. Aga Nk agit da ya. So, N times K agit da So, in that case, we can show that 2 pi into square root of M by K1 plus K2. Unta bari budo. Time period of oscillation onna. So, this is the summary of the neat papers. So, this is the combination of springs. Then, let us start with the another chapter that is waves. So, waves, it is a sort of disturbance set up in a medium that carries energy along its direction. Okay. So, a traveling disturbance that carries energy through matter and space and third theory. wave transfer energy without transferring matter ali a medium nalli yen matter irutte adu yavade karanakku trans movement irodilla one point nenu point move agodilla only the disturbance will propagate anthe helthivi ade major concept nimge waves andre haga artha maadkolbeku nivu alli and it carries both energy and momentum anthe helthivi and waves are produced by something that vibrates so allu vandu initial disturbance irlai vekagatte so any body that vibrates that produces waves okay that's the origin of waves anthe helabodu then velocity of longitudinal waves so velocity of longitudinal wave so newton's formula ni already study maadirutare so according to newton it is proved as v is equal to square root of e by rho where e is elasticity of the medium so, modulus of elasticity of the medium and rho is the density of the medium. And in case of solids, if that longitudinal wave or sound wave is propagating in uh, solids, in that case, we can use this formula. Ali e jagadalli y ena thorbeku. So, Young's modulus of that solid, the L3. Y andre Young's modulus and rho is density of that solid. And uh, in liquid, so liquid nala adre e jagadalli b and a where b is bulk modulus of elasticity of uh, liquid or gaseous medium in case of fluids atwa in case of uh, uh, water or a liquid or gaseous medium we can use this expression to calculate velocity of that sound wave and as solids are most elastic while gases are least 
So, that is why we can say elasticity of solid is greater than elasticity of liquid and that is greater than elasticity of gas. So, other prakar odre, we can say velocity of sound is maximum in steel and that is greater than in water and that is greater than in air. Andre, on the average value on thondre, you will observe more bodu. In steel, the speed of sound will be 5000 meter per second and in water, 1500 meter per second and in air at 0 degree Celsius, it is 330 meter per second. Then Newton Laplace formula for speed of sound in a gaseous medium. So, gaseous medium nalli, Laplace correction nantara, andre Newton prakara one the explanation kutra tare, adu isothermal changes on theater tare, but Laplace banbutu adu isothermal alla, adu adiabatic changes na pro maadi, ali gamma on the concept na introduce maadra tare. So, a basis mele idu derive maadra tare, so that is gamma p by rho. So, where gamma is Cp by Cv, it is the ratio of specific heat capacity at constant pressure to at constant volume. So, this is the value of gamma, uh, meaning of gamma and it can also be shown as gamma RT by M by using this formula PV is equal to RT. Even the ideal gas equation is mark on to is in E equation na E form me baker now work on both. So, in the factors so factors which are affecting the velocity of sound in a gaseous medium. What is the effect of pressure at constant temperature? Effect of pressure at the So, generally, all students say that oh, V is proportional to P. If P is in the numerator, it is directly proportional to square root of P. But actually, that is a wrong concept. Velocity of sound is independent of pressure of gas. So, it is independent of pressure of gas. As pressure increases, density also increases in case of gases. Therefore, P by rho, the E P by rho also increases. So, the P by rho remains constant and thirty. Hence, P by rho ratio becomes constant. Therefore, it is independent of pressure. So, velocity is independent of pressure. Then, effect of temperature. So, temperature is bandhra, il observe more bodhi nivu, it is absolute temperature T and thirty. So, V is equal to square root of gamma R T by M. So, V proportional to square root of absolute temperature absolute temperature temperature in kelvin scale so nimge enadru by chance degree celsius al kottidre adana 273 inda add maadkondu neevu capital t ge convert maadkolbeku annadu idara meaning so v1 by v2 is equal to square root of t1 by t2 anthe helthivi and if the temperature changes is small if the temperature changes is small andre namge 1000 degree 2000 degree Celsius in the increase I to until a quarter is the news mark a few small changes 50 degree Celsius at 40 degree Celsius change other other calculation more back on the I can make use of this formula so that is Vt is equal to V naught plus 0.61 T a 0.61 T there for every degree rise of temperature the velocity of sound increases by 0.61 meter per second and the either meaning okay. So, in the V T and temperature uh, velocity at T degree Celsius and V naught is velocity of sound at 0 degree Celsius and T is the temperature, given temperature. So, it is a shortcut I use more quality. Then next effect of density and effect of humidity. So, density uh, equation on the bodu, it is uh, inversely proportional to square root of rho. So, effect of humidity and re, with increase in humidity density of air decreases. So, with rise in humidity, velocity of sound increases. So, therefore, we can say sound travels faster in humid air that is in rainy season than in dry air. Okay. Then various forms of uh, progressive wave equation. So, various forms this progressive wave equation is a function of f of x comma t. If you want to write the equation for progressive waves, we can write it as in the form of y is equal to f of x comma t. And the y is equal to a sin of x comma t. You'll observe more both you. So omega t minus k. This is a standard equation. Nimge the best method is e is to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. E different forms of the equations and kotar. Even Nima theory paper nal kuda appear agriti type of question. Idi aade one formal kotre, adana better you bring it in this form. That is 
to this form. So, this form is easy to calculate. So, the wave velocity can be shown as or can be written as V is equal to F lambda that is equal to omega by k. Omega is the angular frequency and k is propagation constant and that k is given by 2 pi by lambda. Then uh, next, let us see standing waves. Standing waves are stationary waves. So, standing waves or stationary waves are formed due to superposition of uh, two identical waves which are traveling in opposite direction. And the equation of uh, stationary waves is the function of f of x and g of t. The previous progressive wave equation ge, y, is, y is equal to f of x comma t in the source could be, but y is equal to f of x and g of t. So, andre, here are different functions in the agarate. Andre, andre, observe modu. This is the actual equation of stationary wave. So, stationary wave v equation displacement is given by 2a cos kx sin omega t in the earth. 2a cos x. Uh, 2a cos kx in it, this is the amplitude of that stationary wave on the earth. So, this amplitude is varying with the displacement. Okay. So, 2a cos x is the resultant amplitude of this stationary wave. And this stationary wave is in a one the loop on the earth. One the complete loop, we will observe the diagram. So, it is a consisting of uh, nodes and antinodes on the LTV, where the amplitude is maximum such point is called uh, antinode and where the amplitude is zero the such point are called uh, node on the LTV. and the distance between two consecutive nodes or antinodes is lambda by 2 the most important point the distance between two consecutive node or antinode antinode is lambda by 2 whereas the distance between two consecutive antinode and node is lambda by 4 where lambda is wavelength and when we see the standing waves on a stretched string or on a string so you can observe in these diagrams a first harmonic or fundamental mode of vibration only complete one single loop agad vibrate aagta and in the second mode of vibration so it will be uh, divided into two different loops and health loop thara vibrate agate. In a third mode of vibration only three loops and in fourth mode of uh, vibration only four loops agate. So, similarly we can prove that the frequency of that oscillation or frequency of that uh, mode of vibration is given by P by 2L into square root of T by M. So, T is the tension acting on the string and P is representing the P segments number of loops and uh, the frequency of the pth harmonic wave is given by fp is equal to p by 2l into square root of t by m ili m and the mass per unit length of the wire or uh, the string used in this mode of vibration. So, this is the standing waves on a string. The next standing waves on in an organ pipes. So, organ pipes. So, organ pipes it is a air column on the cylindrical tube thawand, air enclosed so there is an organ pipe and the health way. E organ pipe nali, air type barate, one the closed pipe mat on the open pipe. So closed pipe and one end is open and other end is closed. Aduna closed pipe and health way. In case of open pipe, both the ends are open. Okay, so such a pipe is called open pipe and health way. So in their uh, modes of vibration, in the fundamental mode of vibration, when it is uh, vibrating at resonance adaga other the frequency is to f1 is equal to v by 4 l where v is velocity of sound in that pipe and l is the length of the pipe and health way. so fundamental mode of vibration frequency of fundamental mode in a closed pipe is given by f1 is equal to v by 4 l whereas in a open pipe it is given by f is equal to v by 2 l agate. and the second mode of vibration or a first overtone at the third harmonic and the third harmonic is the fifth harmonic is the first harmonic so illi third harmonic and re illi second mode of vibration and the first first overtone only f3 will be given by 
3v by 4l and f5 in the fifth harmonic or second overtone is going to be f5 is equal to 5v by 4l. So, therefore, f1 is to f2 is to f3 is equal to 1 is to 3 is to 5 and that is in the f3 f5 and the quote is but new last year e on the equation approve matter the new for vibrations at the modes of vibration in a closed pipe nally even the equation approve matter three and it contains only odd harmonics with healthy and standing waves in a organ pipes open pipe alvandaga in the f1 is the f2 is the f3 in the town ray f2 is given by 2v by 2l and f3 is given by 3v by 2l and it contains all harmonics and the f21 is to f2 is to f3 is equal to 1 is to 2 is to 3 and the health way. So, it contains all the harmonics whereas, this contains only odd harmonics. So, and the quality of sound yadol jasthi arathe open pipe alay amke quality of sound jasthi arathe karan and the it contains all harmonics ok. Then next concept is Doppler effect. So, Doppler effect in the other So, Doppler effect is the apparent change in the pitch or frequency of the sound waves due to the relative motion between the source and the observer. Source and the observer. Illi even the diagram only observe Martar Bodo on the source of sound under the ambulance harm mark on hook tie the sound made by the ambulance which is moving right side in this diagram. So, other Mumbai the Loba observer in Tidane. So, Avange, not illi, illi number of waves just the aitu, under a frequency just the kelsate. Other original frequency in the H in a frequency in a lavanga sound kelate. Ade illi ninter of the observer gay, E observer gay, Enagate, illi number of waves kadame reach agate, Avange, under a other original frequency F idre, even gay apparent frequency kadame kelate, even gay apparent frequency just the kelate. So, what is that expression for f dash in terms of f? So, in expression on the either. So, Doppler effect is given by f dash is equal to f s into v plus v naught by v minus v s. So, where v is velocity of sound in a gaseous medium in that medium and v o is velocity of sound uh, sorry velocity of listener or observer and v s is the velocity of source or sound, source of the sound, ok. So, yav source momentally the other velocity v s on the health v, observer velocity v v on the health v. So, nivu nimma theory class nali ab, now study maadda ga, al nimge v minus v v on the derivative maadda tare, nimma teachers generally in most of the cases, but nani il kottra do v plus v v on the kodo use maadda kodo bodo, provided this is the sign convention. So, ek nare ondo ondo ah, Case nalu vandan thara now sign convention nalu apply maadu bodu, but nani e equation anna thawandu aga, nivu e sign convention anna use maadu kodi. So, you can get all the different cases of this Doppler effect, already you people have already studied in your theory classes in detail. So, in sign convention anna re, for approaching velocities, approaching velocities anna re, ega source anna adhru, observer kade mua akta dhre, adhra velocity anna positive anna thawandu kodi, atwa observer anna adhra source kade mua adhre, adhna, positive on the third day. Receding velocities, if they are moving away from each other in the ray, in any case, aga ni vadna negative on the third day. So, you just apply this to sign convention for this equation, you will get all the cases of this Doppler effect. Then next, let us start with the questions. So, very first question, which one of the following is a simple harmonic motion? The options are wave moving through a string fixed at both the ends, earth spinning about its own axis, ball bouncing between two rigid vertical walls, particle moving in a circle with uniform speed. So, illi observe Mardaga Nimge simple harmonic motion. So, very first uh, I already explained about its characteristic, it must be a periodic motion and oscillatory motion on the other. So, Oscillatory motion, periodic motion. Illi kotro dhrali. Earth spinning about its own axis and either rotatory motion agate. Adu wrong answer. And particle moving in a circle with uniform speed. Andre, idu circular motion agate. Adu wrong answer aitu. 
in a ball bouncing between two rigid walls. Okay, it's an oscillatory motion and the andkola bodu of damped oscillation and thiru bodu. But in this case, acceleration is not proportional to displacement and direct toward, directed towards the mean position. Our condition satisfy agala, other in the idu ranga gatte. But whereas in a wave moving through a string fixed at both the ends, so that will be executing SHM. So, option A is correct. Then, next question, this is the option A. And next question, a 1 into 10 power minus 20 kilogram particle is vibrating with simple harmonic motion with a period of uh, 1 into 10 power minus 5 second and a maximum speed of 1 into 10 power 3 meter per second. The maximum displacement of the particle is, what is the maximum displacement of the particle? Now, the maximum displacement of the particle and the new candidate is the amplitude. So, you have to look the data, you know, mass of the particle is the same. period, time period, 10 power minus 5 second is the maximum speed is the same. So, with the help of maximum speed, we can get this answer, you can observe. So, maximum speed, so maximum velocity is given by V max is equal to A omega. So, A into 2 pi by T, because we can write omega as 2 pi by T, and then half quality, nanik baker the maximum displacement, and then A. So, A equate maan kondre, V max into T by 2 pi agathe. So, V max is 1 into 10 power 3, and T is 1 into 10 power minus 5, and 2 pi, and then 2 into 3.14, and then 6.28, and half quality, 6.28. So, when you work it out, so it is work out, you will observe more. So, mainly numerator only 10 power minus 2, you will see 6.28. It is not in So, if you transfer this 1 by 6.28, it is 0.15 something. And you can express it in terms of millimeter, that is 1.59 millimeter. So, by calculation, we can prove 1.59 millimeter, that is option A is the right answer, this one. Then, question number 3, the phase at a time t of a particle in simple harmonic motion tells. So, we can answer this by definition of the phase only. So, by definition, we can say both position and direction of motion of the particle at time t. So, it will tell both the position and as well as direction of motion of the particle. So, So by definition, option C is correct. Then, next question. A particle in SHM is described by the displacement function x of t is equal to a cos of omega t plus theta. If the initial, that means when t is equal to 0, position of the particle is 1 centimeter, position is 1 centimeter and its initial velocity is pi centimeter per second and angular frequency of the particle, angular frequency omega of the particle is pi radian per second, then its amplitude, other amplitude a nagate. So, then check mark, we need to apply all these conditions to this expression. So, then I can write, now x is equal to a cos of omega t plus theta and uh, Velocity is given by rate of change of displacement, so dx by dt. If you differentiate it, you will get this equation minus a omega into sin of omega t plus theta. So, I will call this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. And I will apply all these conditions which is given in the problem. So, t is equal to 0, x is equal to 1 half quality and v is equal to pi and omega is equal to pi. And the so, we have two values in equation 1 and 2. We can prove that sin theta is equal to minus 1 by a and cos theta is equal to 1 by a. 1 by a. And squaring and adding these two equations, sin square theta plus cos square theta, we have minus 1 by a square plus 1 by a square. We can prove that a is equal to root 2 centimeter. So, this will be the answer. So, we will observe one by a square agathe plus one by a square that is equal to two by a square agathe that is equal to one agathe because sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one agathe. So, we can prove that a is equal to root two centimeter that is option B is correct answer. Then a particle executes 
a simple harmonic motion of time period t. Find the time taken by the particle to go directly from its mean position to half the amplitude. So, what is the time taken by the particle to go directly from its mean position? So, y is equal to 0 to to half of the amplitude, y is equal to a by 2 agadike, yes to time sound t calculate mon vekna willi. So, we have this displacement equation y is equal to a sin omega t. So, a sin of omega is given by 2 pi by t into t agate. So, in the question y is equal to a by 2 given we get time period. So, y is equal to a by 2 akkol thane, illi a a cancel mon kondre, namage n agate 1 by 2 is equal to sin of 2 pi t by t agate. So, andre 2 pi t by t is equal to sin inverse of half. So, what is sin inverse of half? Sin 30. Okay. So, 30 degree andre pi by 6. How the? So, how kondre namage exactly t is equal to t by 12 bandha agate. Okay. So, t by 12 will be the answer. So, we will check more about 2 pi by t by t. So, 1 pi 1 pi gets cancelled and uh, nani bekar the t other in the cross multiplication modi. So, t by 12 varate. So, option d is correct answer. Then, question number 6. A body of mass 5 gram is executing simple harmonic motion about a point with amplitude 10 centimeter. Its maximum velocity is 100 centimeter per second. Its velocity will be 50 centimeter per second at a distance. So, the maximum velocity 100 centimeter per second is there. Then, other velocity 50 centimeter per second is Yes, to distance ali, other velocity 50 centimeter per second is there. So, then now calculation one We have this formula V max is equal to A omega condition special case observe mod idivi it is maximum at mean position adrinda so v max is equal to a omega anta koltivi so omega is equal to 100 by 10 so once one once cancel madra 10 radian per second varthe that is omega so v max an use madkondu nanige omega kandidu kolthave then v at a given position at yav position only y kandidu bekagide nanige iga so adrinda v is equal to omega into square root of a square minus y square a formula hakkondu so v kottidare Yaw positionally velocity 50 agathe in the kutti dhar. Adhikke 50 and thak kutti dhin. V jagadal illi. And omega illi calculation maad kondi dhini 10 and thak. In amplitude kutti dhar avare 10 centimeter. Ella centimeter le rathar vindha. Namage final answer kuda centimeter nale varathe. So if you work it out, you will get 5 root 3 centimeter. So he gave our quote maad vodho. Just observe. So 5 maath roli yathe RHS nali. Squaring on both the sides, you get 10. 10 square minus y square is equal to 25 agathe. Ill squaring on both sides madhaga. So, aga y square is equal to 100 minus 25 that is equal to 75. Yeah, 75 anna 25 into 3 anta bar koltene. So, y is equal to square root anta onre 5 root 3. Ether ni work out maad kolde kagathe. Okay. So, option C is correct. Then, Question number 7. If a hole is bored along the diameter of the earth and a stone is dropped into hole, what happens then? Option A. The stone reaches the center of the earth and stops here. The stone reaches the other side of the earth and stops there. The stone executes simple harmonic motion about the center of the earth. The stone reaches the other side of the earth and escapes into space. So, anyhow, now we questions on a deal with the waves and oscillation chapter. Mele, other in the Kelvo smart students direct again, other in Kelvaka, option C must be the correct answer. And the general like help, but reason correct at the Kolbe Kondre, Nodi, either earth e shape, either meaning and other, either on the along the diameter, on the bore na drill maadik thewe, illa on the particle anna illi drop maadik thewe, if you drop a particle, so due to gravity, it will be attracted towards the center of the earth, so center of the earth kadege hokta arathe, and due to its momentum, it will move on the other side, 
ಇದು ಈ ಕಡೆ ಬರ್ತಾ ಬರ್ತಾ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಗೇನ್ ಡಿ ಟು ಗ್ರಾವಿಟಿ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಆಕ್ಸಲರೇಟ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ ದಿ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅರ್ತ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಈ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಆಕ್ಸಲರೇಷನ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನಲ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅರ್ತ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ಸೊ ಆದ್ದರಿಂದ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನಿಕ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಗಿವನ್ ಬೈ ಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಪೈ ಇಂಟು ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ ಬೈ ಜಿ ಅಂತ ಬರ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವೇನು ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಪೆಂಡುಲಮ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವೇನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಟೂ ಪೈ ಇಂಟು ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲ್ ಬೈ ಜಿ ಅಂತ ಇರೋದನ್ನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ ಜಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಆರ್ ಹಾಕ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ನಮಗೆ ಈ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಕೋಗುತ್ತೆ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಪ್ರೂವ್ ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಕಿಲೋಮೀಟರ್ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅರ್ತನ್ನು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಬೈ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದಿ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಸಿಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅದರ ಟೈಮ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಸಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಎ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಕೆ ಜಿ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟಿಂಗ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಂಪ್ಲಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಟೂ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಎಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬೈ ಎಮ್ ಎ ಅಂದರೆ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಈಗ ನನಗೆ ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೂ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಸಿಲೋರೇಷನ್ ಬೇಕಾಗಿದೆ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಗೆಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಒಮೇಗಾ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಅಥವಾ ಒಮೇಗಾ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಎ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೇವೆ ಸೊ ಒಮೇಗಾ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬೈ ಟೂ ಪೈ ಬೈ ಟಿ ಸೊ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಫೋರ್ ಪೈ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಬೈ ಟಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಯು ಎ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಎಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎಮ್ ಇಂಟು ಎ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಇದನ್ನು ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ನೀವು ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರನ್ನ ನಾನು ರೌಂಡ್ ಫಿಗರ್ ಟೆನ್ ಅಂತ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀನಿ ತ್ರೀ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ನೈನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಟೆನ್ ಅಂತ ಬರ್ಕೊಳ್ತೇನೆ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಟು ಇಂಟು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಟು ಅಂದರೆ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ಫೋರ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಫೋರ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಅಂತ ಹಾಕ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಈ ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಮೇಲಿಗೆ ಹೋದರೆ ಆಗ ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಟು ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಹೌದಾ ಸೊ ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಟು ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಆಯಿತು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಪಾರ್ಟಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫೋರ್ ಇದೆ ಫೋರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಇಲ್ಲೆಷ್ಟಿದೆ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಇಂಟು ಇಲ್ಲೊಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇದೆ ನೋಡಿ ಸೊ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಅನ್ನು ಹಾಕ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಸೊ ನಿಯರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ನೋಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸನ್ನು ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ಗೆ ನಿಯರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಯಾವುದೋ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ನೈಂಟಿ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ನೈನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಟನ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಥರ ನೀವು ಸಿಂಪಲ್ಲಾಗಿ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ನ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾ ಹೋಗಬೇಕು ಈ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಅಕ್ಯೂರೇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಕೂತ್ಕೊಳ್ಬಾರ್ದು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಈ ಥರ ಅಪ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿಮೇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ನಿಯರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಬರ್ಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಸೊ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಎ ಇಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ದೆನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್
the next question the total energy of a particle executing shm is 80 joule what is the potential energy when the particle is at a distance of 3 fourth of amplitude from the mean position so what is the potential energy when the particle is at a distance of 3 fourth of amplitude so displacement 3 fourth of amplitude idaga adike potential energy estide adike data kodrode enavaru total energy and now ee question nan othidage yav eradu equation na compare madbekagide illi total energy matte potential energy ee eradu expression na use madkondu navu illi work out madbekagutte nodi ee tarana nan work out madkondidene total energy by potential uh, sorry potential energy by total energy inta hakondirutane so half m omega square y square and half m omega square a square illi common agirudana cancel madtene in ulliyoda namage y square by a square alli namage kottirudare y is equal to 3 fourth of amplitude anta kottidare so adanna navu illi condition use madkondre illi a square a square cancel agutte inna square madidre 9 by 16 so 9 by 16 into 80 maadi so ee 80 na tagadu ee kade numerator cross multiplication madadaga 80 il bandre 16 only 16 5 ali 80 so 35 ili 45 so u is equal to 45 joules anta direct agi answer kodabodu then next question a simple pendulum is made of a body which is a hollow sphere containing mercury suspended by means of a wire if a little mercury illi observe madabodu if a little mercury is drained off if a little mercury is drained off the period of pendulum will remains unchanged increase decrease or uh, becomes erratic anta kottidare options anna so you will observe more the diagram nalli illi salp salpane mercury sorta ide so sorta idre adara center of gravity adara level kadme aagtidagene nodi first illi iddantha center of gravity center alli iddu salpa kelagal bartar level kadme aagtidagene so idu kadme aagtidagene nodi illi iddantha length of pendulum salpa jaasti aitu we know that t proportional to root l okay so adarinda we can say increase option b is correct answer by chance if you have complete mercury drain out, first it increases and complete uh, time period increase and complete mercury level full either center of gravity of this allo sphere matha ulkolate adu matte illige band kutkolate andre first to increase the time period matte decrease agutte anta option kodbekagutte nevu adarinda you must be very careful in understanding the question so question ardha artha madkondre ardha answer bandage nimage then option B is correct answer. This is the explanation. Then question number 12. The length of a pendulum is increased by 1%. Its time period will. E one question because now in my second chapter of the units and measurements. Our chapter in the same question now frame are both. And it, of course it is related to simple pendulum. That's why I just uh, selected this chapter. Alli nimi ke sakash to standard equation na kutta tare how to calculate the fractional errors atwa percentage errors ge. Aa vandhu concept mele idhina artha maadkul vayka gette. So this is the expression for fractional error. Delta T by T is equal to half into delta L by L. E ni kendre T proportional to root of L. So T proportional to L to the power half rather in the illi aa power idhi ke multiply gette measurement nalli. By chance in case. This L cube is 3 into delta L by L. Okay, this L to the power half is half into delta L by L. So, 0.5% is the answer. Okay, then next one. Question number 13. A man measures the period of a simple pendulum inside a stationary lift and finds it to be T second. If the lift accelerates upwards with an acceleration g by 4, accelerates upwards, a is equal to g by 4, then pendulum of, sorry, then the period of pendulum will be, what happens to the new period of pendulum? So, this is the expression we have and in upward moving lift, this is the expression we already discussed, g plus a agate, acceleration due to gravity increase agate. So, a is equal to g by 4 on our we can prove that root of 4 by 5. So, root of 4 is 2. So, 2 t by root 5 will be the correct answer. Then, next one, question number 14. A silver atom 
in a solid oscillates in simple harmonic motion in some direction with a frequency of 10 power 12 hertz. What is the force constant of the bonds connecting one atom with the other? So, what is the force constant? So, what is the force constant of the bonds connecting one atom with the other? Actually, this is the question selected from previous year AIPMT paper. So, very important. So, molecular weight kutidare, molecular weight of the silver is 108 and Avogadro number Na kutidare 6 into 10 power 23 gram per mole on the kutidare. Idhana use markon, idhana il not dagane, namge mass kutidare and the kutagate and frequency kutidare. So, allige spring constant and the k value kundi kutbe kagate li. So, nodi illi absorb. So, frequency is given by f is equal to 1 by 2 pi into square root of k by m and frequency is 10 per 12 hertz kotidare where m is mass of one atom. So, mass of one atom kandit kodbe kore Avogadro's hypothesis prakara 108 molecular weight divided by 6.02 into 10 per 23 idu namge grammal kodate adhe into 10 per minus 3 antha kontra namge aga k general varate that is in SI system. Then, I will substitute this for m. So, m ge idhan a separate mark under e equation alli, aga nani bhe kar denu k or k dhe rudu. So, k ge equate mark koli, you can prove that it is 7.1 Newton per meter. So, this is the substitution. Okay. So, idhan a workout mark under, you will get 7.1 Newton per meter. Then, question number 15, two identical springs of constant k are connected in series and parallel as shown in figure. On the case ali series ali de, on the case ali parallel ali de. A mass m is suspended from them. The ratio of their frequencies of vertical oscillation. So, what is the ratio of their frequencies? So, you will be careful agar bhaikku ni mege frequency ke ili dara, atwa time period ke ili dara. So, ah, basically, adhu bhaala mukhya. Already held in mege, new question correct artha maad kondre, artha solution sikha age ni mege. So, idhan already discuss maad diyo nodi. F is equal to 1 by 2 pi into square root of k by m. F s by F p. Andre F s andre in series. F p andre parallel. Itra maad daga. Il abza maad bod nao. F proportional to root of k. Where k is spring constant. Series le daga. K s agathe parallel adar k p andre tawal tibi. K s nalli en agathe spring constant. K s is equal to k by 2 agathe. And in case of parallel. 2k agathe. So, k, k cancel agathe. So, that is 1 by 4. So, root of 1 by 4 are 1 by 2. So, fs by fp is equal to 1 by 2. That is option c is correct. Then, next one, question number 16. If a spring has a time period t and is cut into n equal parts and is cut into n equal parts, then time period of each part will be. And there one spring, one the helical spring, na, ether erodh na, we will cut into n equal parts. Ithra n equal parts ki ithra cut maad daga. Now, the spring constant jasthi agathe actually. Now, cut maad daga adhra value. Adhra new stiffness jasthi agathe agathe. Thunda agathe 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 stiffness jasthi agathe. A basis mele effective k will becomes n k. So, spring constant of each part will be n times k. So, yes to part divide maad rathe vi. Twice divide maad rathe 2 k agathe agathe. 3 times divide by 3 k agarathe, that is n times of k agarathe. Okay. So, therefore, we know that time period is given by proportional to 1 by root of k. So, time period becomes t by root n agarathe. The new time period will be t by root n is the correct answer that is option b. Then, next question, it is possible to distinguish between the transverse and longitudinal waves by studying the property of so, yaw a property in a study maad dhre, namge a on the wave, transverse wave a, atwa longitudinal wave anta distinguish maad bodhu, interference alla, diffraction alla, polarization alla, I mean sorry, reflection alla, it is polarization. So, polarization is the property which distinguishes the wave whether it is a transverse or longitudinal, because only transverse waves can undergo polarization, that is electromagnetic waves can undergo polarization and now already study maadid devi in wave optics. Then question number 18, a wave of frequency 500 hertz has velocity 360 meter per second. The distance between two nearest points 
60 degree out of phase is the distance between two nearest points 60 degree out of phase. So, we will observe the phase difference and the path difference. So, we will the data and the frequency and velocity. So, frequency and velocity use the wavelength and connect by using that wavelength we can easily calculate this distance. So, this is the solution we can see the distance between two points that is path difference is given by delta is equal to lambda by 2 pi into phi. So, lambda by 2 pi into pi by 3 agathe. So, <coughs> so pi by 3 so that is equal to lambda by 6 i to so lambda by 6 and re, so v by 6 f agathe. Any k idu yavudhi pi by 3 yelindha manthu il kutti dhar nodi 60 degree yinth. Ah, 60 degree na pi by 3 yinth bar kondi thane. So, pi pi cancel manthar lambda by 6 agathe and we know this uh, uh, v is equal to f lambda. So, therefore, v is equal to f lambda akundre. So, lambda is equal to v by f agathe. So, this is how we will get the equation. If you substitute these values, so we can easily prove that 0 0.12 meter, a uh, 0.12 meter now 12 centimeter on the barcode board. Any kind of really options are the centimeter. So, we need to express in centimeter. So, option B is correct answer. Then question number 19, the ratio of densities of nitrogen and oxygen is 14 is to 16. The temperature at which the speed of sound in nitrogen will be same at that in oxygen. So, speed same. So, we need to see the relation connecting the speed of a sound wave with temperature different dependence. So, our equation is more contrary. V is equal to square root of gamma RT by M. Illi gamma constant eradukunu R universal gas constant irutte. So, variable yavudu T by M ashte. Eni kere velocity kura same irutte at the temperature on the kutti dhar. So, illi Tn by Tvo is equal to Mn by Mo on the tawal according to this condition. So, T another temperature of nitrogen absolute temperature and absolute temperature of oxygen is equal to mn by mo. The given the mass ratio, so the ratio of densities and density density is equal to m by v other in the direct mass ratio to also in the So, 14 by 16 and the so 14 by 16 as in already yearly already end length of 7 by 8 agate and they have given one temperature that is oxygen temperature at 55 kotidare. So, 55 and now capital T use more than the we need to express that in Kelvin that is 273 add more so either add more than 328 agate so gent only and not only so 41 into 7 under 287 Kelvin agate but options only in the degree Celsius in the matte name in Kelvin scale in the matte degree Celsius you cannot move on a minus 273 mother so I'm 14 degree Celsius birthday so, option D is correct. So, nitrogen the 14 degree Celsius salidu, oxygen the 55 degree Celsius salidaga, the other look kuda, velocity of sound same irutte. Anta artha. Then, next question number 20. The intensity of sound increases at night due to. So, what is the reason? Intensity of sound. So, intensity andre, now we will observe Madhavadu. Intensity is given by 2 pi square f square a square rho into v and the f under the frequency of the wave a is the amplitude of the wave and rho is the density of the medium and v is the velocity of the sound so velocity of the wave and healthily so intensity of sound will kill rho. so intensity in order to, we know that at night amount of carbon dioxide in atmosphere increases which raises the density of atmosphere and intensity is directly proportional to density so, I proportional to density other in the, so intensity is more at night. So, option A, so in K, increase in density of air and the, now reason go the way. So, option A is correct answer. Then, question number 21, the equation of a wave is Y is equal to 2 sin pi of 0 0.5 x minus 200 T where x and y are expressed in centimeter and t is in second. The wave velocity is, 
so wave velocity ಇದು ಒಂಥರ ಬಹಳ ಈಸಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಿಮಗೆ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರೆಸಿವ್ ವೇವ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಅನ್ನ ಯಾವುದೇ ಫಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟರು ಕೂಡ ಅದನ್ನ ಇ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಗೆ ತನ್ನಬಡಿ ವೈ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎ ಸೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ಒಮೇಗಾ ಟಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಕೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಒಮೇಗಾ ಟಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಕೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಗೆ ತನ್ನಬಡಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಟಿ ಪಕ್ಕ ಏನೇ ಇದ್ರು ಅದು ಒಮೇಗಾ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪಕ್ಕ ಏನಿದ್ರೆ ಅದು ಕೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಥರ ನೀವು ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ಅಷ್ಟೆ ಸೊ ಡಿಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ಇದೆರಡು ಈ ಇಂಟರ್ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒಮೇಗ ಟಿ ಫಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಇದೆ ಅಷ್ಟೆ ಏನು ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲೇನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ನಾನೀಗ ಈ ಫಾರ್ಮಿಗೆ ತರಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಈ ಬ್ರ್ಯಾಕೆಟ್ನಿಂದ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಸೈನ್ ಒಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಇನ್ನೇನು ಇರಬಾರ್ದು ಅದ್ರ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಸೊ ಪೈನ ಒಳಗೆ ಹಾಕ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ಸೊ ವೈ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಸೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೈನ ಒಳಗೆ ಹಾಕ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಪೈ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪೈ ಟಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ವಿ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒಮೇಗಾ ಬೈ ಕೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಸೊ ಒಮೇಗಾ ಸೊ ಟಿ ಪಕ್ಕ ಯಾವುದಿದೆ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪೈ ಇದೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೆ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪಕ್ಕ ಯಾವುದಿದೆ ಕೆ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಅಂದರೆ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಪೈ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಪೈ ಪೈ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಹಾಫ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಅರ್ಧ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಟು ಅಂದರೆ ಫೋರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಡಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಥರ ಈಸಿಯಾಗಿ ನೀವು ವರ್ಕೌಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹಿಂಟ್ ಏನಂದರೆ ಗೆಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎನಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರೆಸಿವ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೆ ದೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದೆನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ದ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟೂ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬೈ ವೈ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಟು ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ಫೋರ್ ಟಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೈ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ತ್ರೀ ಸೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಪೈ ಇಂಟು ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ಫೋರ್ ಟೈ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೈ ಟು ದ ರೇಷಿಯೋ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ದ ರೇಷಿಯೋ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ವೇವ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ವೈಬ್ರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಟೂ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸೊ ಎರಡು ಸೈನ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನಾವೇನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಈಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನಲ್ ಟು ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಆ್ಯಂಪ್ಲಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಈ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ನಾವು ಈಸಿಯಾಗಿ ಇದನ್ನು ವರ್ಕೌಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ ಐ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಐ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಟು ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ತ್ರೀ ಹೋಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಸೊ ಟೂ ಝ ಸೊ ಟೂ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸೊ ಫೋರ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ದರ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಸಿ ಈಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ದೆನ್ ಎ ವೇವ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಎ ರಿಜಿಡ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಎ ವೇವ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ರಿಜಿಡ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ದ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇನ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಆನ್ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಥಿಯೋರಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಎನಿ ವೇವ್ which hits the rigid support on the wave ee tarah hogunta wave ee tarah rigid support ge hit madidre iga trough hogi hit madidre after reflection idu crest aga cha barutte ade crest idukke incident aare idu trough aga cha barutte so allige face difference est aitu 180 degree andre pi agirutte answer so you can observe after reflection from rigid support a wave suffers a phase change of pi so pi is the phase change then next question the equation of
equation of uh, stationary waves illi cos k andre 2 pi by lambda nodi illi k jagade 2 pi by lambda hakkondidivi and omega is 2 pi by t anta helthivi this is the given equation standard equation so allige k 2 pi by lambda is equal to pi by 20 when you compare this with the standard equation illi pi by 20 is alva k jagadalli adanna hakkoltine ashte so hakkondre nodi pi pi cancel agutte nani bekarade lambda is equal to 2 into 20 that is 40 separation between two consecutive nodes is lambda by 2 adarinda 20 cm is the answer so bala easy so nimage en anusutte ee equation nortidange kelavarge tale girr anutte enappa idu ond complicated equation anta allave alla nee ond sari synopsis ana nodkonu hogidre bala easy aagi work out madabodu neevu and idu ond nenpi ittkoli x jagadalli x pakkadalli bracket nalli k irutade t pakkadalli avaglu omega irutte ade ade secret then Next, in a stationary wave, all the particles, in a stationary wave, all the particles on either side of the node vibrate in same phase. In the region between two nodes vibrate in same phase. In the region between two nodes. In the region between two anti nodes vibrate in same phase. Of the medium vibrate in same phase. So, allow the same phase alert. And really allow the same phase and then put on a point the same phase. Another navig identify marvekili. So, that is the answer B, correct answer on the head of the In a stationary wave, all the particles in one particular segment, one the loop, one the loop all baronta particles in the node. So, this is the particles, yellow kuda, same face and vibrate. So, yellow one day is a male of the, and so yellow kuda one day is a calculated thing between two nodes. So, they will vibrate in same face. This is the simple. On the animated video, you can observe the this video. This orange color wave is left in the right. Observe the right. And yellow color wave is right in the left. We already seen that when two identical waves are traveling in opposite direction in common region, they will superpose each other. And due to that superposition, stationary waves are formed. How the stationary waves are it will vibrate at the observe the So, this yellow or I can say blue and red combination will vibrate at the This is the formation of stationary wave. It will observe the node node. It will node and the node. It will observe the node. All particles will vibrate at the All particles will vibrate So, all the particles will be vibrating in the same phase between two nodes is the correct answer. So, diagram observe So, I hope this will help you to understand the formation of stationary waves for you people. Then, next question, number 26. A closed pipe and an open pipe have their first overtones. First overtones and immediate harmonics. In case of a closed pipe nalli only odd harmonics irutte open pipe nalli all harmonics irutte so first over tones andre closed pipe alla adre third harmonic agutte and open pipe alla re second harmonic agutte idu nimige arthavagbeku question othidagene ee point nimige flash agbeku their lengths are in the ratio hai daga. what will be their lengths okay so eradu identical frequency iddare so illi ee condition use markolta idini the first overtone of closed pipe is equal to first overtone of open pipe and the third harmonics is equal to second harmonics in open pipe agate. closed pipe v by 4l and in a case of a open pipe v by 2l is the expression closed pipe l1 anta karididina adu length anna open pipe l2 anta thagondre illi namge l1 and l2 length bekagide so you just apply this condition so, E equation use markoli. So, direct agi L1 by L2 is equal to 3 by 4 and the direct agi now answer marabodu. So, illi concept yen thiru kondur bheko nivu. Idu, how to get this, achieve this equation. Nimige omme expression for fundamental frequency of mode of vibration in a closed and open pipe nen pidru koda. Overtones anna concept nimige gotti la andre. E question anna answer marabodu kashta agatha. Adar in the theory part salpa chanagi artha maat kondur bheko. Conceptual clarity ir bheko nimige. Then, next question, number 27. The fundamental frequency of a sonometer wire is n. If its radius is doubled, 
if its radius is doubled and its tension becomes half, the material of the wire remains same, the new fundamental frequency will be, what will be the new fundamental frequency? So, new fundamental frequency, this is the formula, fundamental frequency na na yali, n na 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 so, fundamental frequency f is equal to 1 by 2 L into square root of t by pi r square into rho. And there actually now E formula is moderate than 1 by 2 L into square root of t by mu, where mu is equal to m by L, that is linear density of the sonometer wire and the account work out moderate than it. Either now direct again, we can also write in terms of its area of cross section or radius of the wire and density of wire and use mark on the kuda express moderate than so, when you express it like that, we can say that F proportional to root T by R, illi idu namigi bekar depending factors. So, root T by R, illi tension mathe radius jute auro at artha dare, I mean they are playing with that. So, if radius is doubled, so second case ali 2 R on thakkoli and tension becomes half, second case ali tension get T by 2 on thakkol be koshte. So, then a hak kondre, so you will get N2 by N1 or F2 by F1 is equal to R1 by R2 into square root of T2 by T1 agathe. So, alli ge nodi R1, R1 ge R1 thak kolthi ni, illi previous case nal yenide. So, if the radius is doubled, so double are divided by 2 R agathe and square root of T2. So, T2 is becomes half and right T by 2 into T agathe. So, 2 to cancel maadathe ni, R R cancel agathe. So, T T ili cancel agathe. So, 1 by 2 into root of 1 by 2 agathe. So, this can be written as 1 by 2 root 2. Option D is correct answer. Then, next question. Four wires of identical length, diameters and of same material are stretched on a sonometer wire. If the ratio of their tensions is 1 is to 4 is to 9 is to 16. This is the ratio of their tensions. Then ratio of their fundamental frequencies are. So, what will be the ratio of their fundamental frequencies? So, illegal steps are modded v f proportional to root of t. So, this is the relationship. So, by using that f proportional to root t at the n proportional root t in the thundre square root of all this. So, square root of 1, 4, 9, and 16 results with the 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4. So, therefore, option D will be the right answer 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4. Then next question, a cylindrical tube open at both ends has a fundamental frequency F O in air. The tube is dipped vertically into water such that half of its length is inside water. The fundamental frequency of the air column now is the question quattro prakara a cylindrical tube open at both ends. First open tube agitado, open pipe agitto, uh, open pipe has a fundamental frequency F naught in air, air ali F O ratadali. Tube is dipped vertically into water, other na water gaktagane, other open pipe agarlaiga, closed pipe agbate. So, ali ni will observe Markovic, ili ether artha Markovic, such that half of its length is inside water. So, ali closed pipe agar jotege, other length half aitu. Hagid mele, what the, what's the fundamental frequency of air column now? Ega a closed pipe nele, other fundamental frequency enagate. We have the formula. So, open pipe nele dre V by 2L and closed pipe la dre frequency V by 4L agate. So, here do frequency same with of course, correct. So, V by 4 L by 2. So, L by 2 agate. Uh, open pipe do length half I thalwa. Adikki la kondi dene. And V by 2 L akalthi. Yekare closed pipe do length ega open pipe length ali artha agi dene. Enta artha. So, idu na kondre. Frequency remains same. Ill observe mod bodhani ho. 2 1 2 2 za. So, V by 2 L open agathe. Allu ikoda. So, V by 2 L, V by 2 L. So, frequency remains unchanged. So, that is the answer. Then next question number 30. A sound source is moving towards a stationary observer with one tenth of speed of sound. So, source V s is equal to V s is equal to V by 10. 
the ratio of apparent to real frequency is. So, ratio of apparent to real frequency f dash by f So, we have this uh, Doppler effect equation. So, n dash atwa f dash is equal to f into v by v minus s agathe. So, any can real male gade v plus v won the kutti the nano. Nidu v minus uh, v s. This is f. Nidu standard relation to generalized expression kutti the vena. So, illi observer, stationary observer rather in the idu zero akkod veku. Idana zero akkondre. Aga namge finally we will get this relation v by v minus v s agathe. So, aga f into v by v minus v s is equal to v by 10 equal to v and 10 v by v ok so 10 v by 10 minus v by 10 and right so 9 by 10 agathe idu 9 v by 10 agathe so 9 v by 10 akkondre so n dash by n or f dash by n uh, sorry f dash by f can be written as 10 by 9 agathe so 10 by 9 is the correct answer that is option a then Question number 31, at what speed should a source of sound move so that stationary observer finds the apparent frequency equal to half the original frequency. So, Andre, observer finds apparent frequency equal to half the original frequency, this is the key point in the question. So, apparent frequency f dash is equal to half of the original frequency, f dash is equal to f by 2 condition at what speed should a source of sound move? So, V s has to move. So, that stationary observer finds. So, early gay, apparent frequency is decreasing, half of the original frequency. Early gay, gay, source towards the observer, away from the observer, away, because of that only original frequency decreases. F dash is decreased. So, our condition basis, I will work out more the Nan kutidan relation f dash is equal to f into v plus v o by v minus v s and theridini. It is source is moving away. So receding idre adana negative and the tolbe kuanta heride. So negative hakondre v minus of minus and the thondre v plus agate and o is at stationary. So v by v plus v s and the hakolbe kili. And original frequencies and I f by 2 and the kundre, according to the given question f f gets cancelled so we can prove that v s is equal to v so that source has to move with the velocity of sound away from the observer so that is the answer so option c is correct answer i hope all of you are following okay so idu you cannot remember all the uh, expressions in special cases in doppler effect you must remember one generalized expression with the proper sign convention. So, proper sign convention with either one general equation go to the way. questions go to the Doppler effect. Easy again, you solve more both. But in one concept, you go to the way. If the source is moving away from us, frequency decreases. And if the source is towards us, and moving towards us, and frequency increases. So, e concept, you go to the way. So, Arthagila, Yautan on the railway station of Nintkoli, Aga train pass Agakaran Marcondo, Yautan with a sound variation Agate, and then Mige, easy Agartagate. Okay. So, next question number 32. The driver of a car travelling with speed 30 meter per second towards a hill sounds a horn of frequency 600 hertz. If the velocity of sound in air is 330 meter per second, the frequency of reflected sound as heard by the driver is as heard by the driver. It is a very important and a very uh, technical problem. I mean, problem is very good here. So, Karan and Andre, Illi, your car driver moving towards the hill station, Thwa, one do walk at Hokta, Andre, Ali source Yavdu, observer Yavdu, Aduna identify Marde, Idal Bala Muki Vagarate, Adukon simple image could have Kundi, no observer would never live. The observer, he is the observer, he is moving towards this hill or this uh, wall. Aga, Avan ge source yao da gate, he kaun karal kutun on a har martidane. Ali ge source mathe observer erudu one day aga chancilla. Aga nagate as he moves towards this uh, hill or uh, 
and this uh, wall the reflected sound will become the actual source of the sound idu vs agutte idanna imaginary source anta nivu artha maadkolbeku so imaginary source idu heeg bartta irutte in observer heeg hogutidane so velocity of source heeg bandre velocity observer heeg hogutte ee condition nivu apply maadkolbeku okay so aga you can observe so v f dash is equal to v plus v not by v minus v s so illi already if now sign convention apply maadi na work out maadiddeve okay so 330 plus 30 by 330 minus 30 will be the answer so idu ond method aare naan kottu ond method enide f dash is equal to f into v plus v o by v minus v s anthe helide illi nodi observer is moving towards are positive aage ulkolutte okay and uh, source is also moving towards adrinda idu kuda positive aage ulite nodi finally i'll come with this relation idu nan actually follow madrudu nimma regular class alli yav equation kodutare adar prakara madidini idu nan illi kottiruvanta special equation prakara madrudu so illi idar prakara nimage onde sali ee step ig bandibidutte nimage so v plus v o v minus v va koli 330 plus 30 330 minus 30 so if you work it out you can say 720 hertz so option a will be the correct answer you can observe one more thing ee question alli original frequency is 600 hertz ide and the car is moving towards this cliff adarinda and this is the source he has to hear more sound so more than the original frequency and the mele you just observe all the three options are having less than 600 and only one with the greater than 600 is 720 without doing any calculation you can go for this option okay then next question number 33 a man is standing on a railway platform listening to the visual of an engine that passes the man at constant speed at constant speed without stopping if the engine passes the man at time t not how does the frequency f of the visual as heard by the man changes with time so they have given four graphs a b c d graphs observe so which is the correct graph which is representing the variation of f with respect to time so at t naught is uh, that source is very close to the observer you can observe so when train is approaching the stationary observer so this is the frequency f dash is equal to v plus v naught by v and the pro and uh, when the train is moving away from the observer okay so when the train is moving away from the observer so f double dash agate. so we can say f dash is greater than f double dash so therefore illi at constant you can observe one more thing here so it is moving with a constant velocity and it is clear that f dash and f double dash are constant and independent of time so that's why option a will be the correct answer so modalige avanige jaasti kelthe adatra bartha bartha jor aagta artha sound with constant rate and uh, as soon as it recedes away from him so you will get you will be hearing a constant low frequency okay so option a is right answer then question number 34 the displacement time graphs for two sound waves a and b are shown in figure then ratio of their intensities i a by i b is equal to so intensity is given by i is equal to 2 pi square f square a square rho into v so you will observe one of the new will either do waveform go to the ray a and b not a b one complete wave are there illegal but a in a half are there and the early gave frequency different day and in our amplitude not a big a one is ray a gay two is a so illy our frequency and then angular frequency and l as well as a so you have to code a change as a day so now when much you turn on order or intensity i mean intensity directly proportional to a square as an account of yeah the care okay yeah just the day and the now other melee or quote more pretty but actually illy frequency is to the quality observe more vehicle so when you observe it we can say i proportional to a square omega square so a a by a b is equal to 2 by 1 whereas omega a by omega b is equal to half with early according to the graph so therefore if you take a ratio of i a to i b you'll get one is to one there is no change so option d is the right answer
Okay. So, thank you. Thank you all. I hope you all enjoyed this session. Thank you once again.